heart is always in your throat uh, uh, for the first couple and then of course you're anxious I mean you're, you're approaching somebody you don't know uh, and as much as we've researched uh, this person's background you just never know what's going to happen and you have to be prepared so yeah you're anxious every time you do it that never goes away Did you find a place all right yeah you bring your bag and come on over here for a minute will you? Wow, I knew that was gonna happen. You knew what was gonna happen. This. You knew what what's this? I have a seat on that stool there if you would. In Ohio, uh, we saw really for the first time multiple guys say that they had seen one of our past three investigations. And it did surprise me. Because I'm thinking, well if you saw the previous show, you know, what are you doing here? Ronell, do you ever watch television? Mm hmm Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? Yeah, and I've seen this on TV. You've seen this on TV before? Pretty much knew this was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen? Yeah, what made you think that this was, in fact, going to happen? Well, because for one, which I think is kind of, I think is really, you know, is kind of like misleading in a way, but for one, I just knew, I mean, I could tell because how she just kept, um, Trying to see if I was really a come, or really a come, you know. So you smelled a rat. Yeah. But you came anyway. Yeah. Why? Something I did. Something you did. Yeah. You feel sorry for a lot of these guys, you know, and especially if you're talking about somebody who served in the military, if they served perhaps in the Iraqi War, and you wonder, you know, what what are you doing here? But then you go back and read the transcript and you see what was said, how it was said. What do you do for a living right now? Um, I just got out of the military. You got out of the military? What branch? The Navy. The Navy. Yeah. And where did you serve in the Navy? Um, well, at first I was stationed in Washington. In Washington? And been deployed like two, three times. Did you see any action? Yeah. Did you go to the war? Yeah, it was the first one was there when it first happened. In Iraq? Yeah. Now, as a member of the United States military, there's a code of honor. Mm -hmm. Did you break that code tonight? Um, I'll say in some ways, yeah. In some ways, yes. Yeah. But in other ways, I would say no because I really haven't, you know, actually... But, Ronell, you're a grown man. Yeah. Showing up with alcohol to meet a 13-year-old girl home alone. How does that look? That. After you reread that transcript, you feel a little less sorry for these guys. And you say, well, I'm in for whatever. I'm not scary. I don't have no girlfriend. You should be my little mammy. What does that mean? It was just a little joke, dog. A little joke. I ain't know if she took it serious or not, but I ain't. She talks about how she doesn't want to get pregnant. You say, I wouldn't get you pregnant. She bought it up, I didn't. Yeah, but you're but she, here. She's the one that bought all that up. I was just, she wanted to drink, so I got that. Uh, if you wanted to have sex, I would, okay. I know that's what you wanted me to say, wasn't it? So you were game if she was game, basically. Uh, I couldn't say 100% that I would. What percent could you say? I would say it was more like a 50-50. A 50-50 deal. So maybe you'd have sex with her, maybe not. Yeah. This is the part where I say, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and the cameras come out, and we ask if there's anything else you want to tell us. So if there's anything else you want us to know, we'd like to hear it. Uh, no, not really. It's just, you know, I ain't really... I mean, if I, I feel, okay, I realize I made, uh, coming here was a mistake, but, um, good thing, 
that it didn't progress to none further. It was a good thing that we were here and a 13-year-old girl was not. Right. I'm not gonna say, say that anything would happen, but it just, I don't know, I just apologize if I offended anybody, but. You have the right to remain silent, you understand that? Say yes or no. Yes, sir. In every investigation, once uh, we finish uh, talking to the uh, potential predator, they're arrested, they're taken to a processing center, and then they're taken uh, to another area where they're interviewed by police detectives. Do you know how old the person was when you were coming to visit today? Uh, yes, sir. How old? She told me uh, 13. Sir. 